Now, in the previous lecture, you understand how super method is useful to access the class instance. Now, in this lecture, we're going to understand what is Python static methods and class methods. This is also a very important topic in Python. But let me first explain what is static means. Static means unchangeable or you can say fix means the value doesn't get changed from the external behavior. A static method belongs to the class rather than the object of the class. A static method can be invoked without the need for creating an instance of a class. You don't need to create an object to access the static method. Now let's take a look at a very simple example to understand how static method and class method work in Python. I'm going to create a simple example here and then I will explain the code line by line. I'm going to create a class here. So I'm going to start with the class keyword and specify name my class. Specify colon to specify scope for this class and then here I'm going to define a method. So here I'm going to say define method and I'm going to just return string using this method. So here I'm going to say instance method call and with this method I'm going to concatenate the self keyword. Just for that here I'm going to create a simple class method. So I'm going to just simply start with the define keyword and then specify name for this method. Here I'm going to specify name for this method class method. You are free to specify any name for this method that doesn't matter. And here I'm going to specify parenthesis. And now in this parenthesis I'm going to pass parameter. So here I'm going to say CLS. Instead of specifying self I'm going to call here CLS. I will explain why I specify this parameter here after a few seconds. Just out of that here in this class method, I'm going to just return a message. So here I'm going to say return in the double code. I'm going to say class method call. And with this message, I'm going to concatenate this CLS parameter. Now, this is just a simple Python class method. We need to convert it into class method. To do that, you need to call here at the red sign before this method right here and specify here class method just like this. Now, once you specify this decorator, this class is now known as class method. This class is now initialized as class method. Just for that, I'm going to do the same for the static method as well. Here I'm going to specify add the red sign and specify static method to define the static method in this class. And here I'm going to create a method. So I'm going to start with the define keyword and then specify static method. You are free to specify any name to this method. And then I'm going to specify parenthesis. And in this parenthesis, I'm not going to specify anything. And then here I'm going to specify return and in the double code I'm going to say static method called. Just for that I'm going to create a simple class instance. So here I'm going to say static is equal to my class. So I'm going to create an instance of this class and then I'm going to simply print these messages. So here I'm going to say print static dot method. I'm going to first call this class method. Then I'm going to duplicate this statement and then right here I'm going to call class method. So here I'm going to say class method just like this and then I'm going to duplicate this statement and here I'm going to call static method just like this. Now let me just execute this file and show you the result first and then I will explain this code line by line. So let me just execute this file. When I execute this file you can notice I'm going to have this type of result. Both this method is going to return an object and then the static method is going to print this static text. When you call this method, it's going to call the instance method call this message with this self object. You can notice here we have this my class object and the reference of this object. Then when you call this class method, you're going to get the message and the class object. You can notice I don't have the reference of this class in this object. Just out of that, I'm going to have this static method which is going to just simply print this message. Now let me explain this code. Now in this example, first we have the instance method. This can be accessible using instance of the class. We already learned that how you can create a class method in Python. You can access this method using a simple class instance. The second we have is a class method. We mark this method with class method decorator. So to inform Python to add a class method, we need to use this method decorator. If you remove this decorator, Python consider this class method as a standard class method instead of considering this method as class method. Instead of specifying the self keyword, I'm going to specify CLS. You are free to specify any parameter here that doesn't matter. So instead of accepting a self parameter, the class method takes the CLS parameter. As you know, the self parameter 
points to the class instance but this cls parameter points to the class itself so this parameter is directly point to this class instead of pointing to the class instance so the class method take the cls parameter that points to the class and not the object instance when the method is called just after that we have the third method which is a static method we mark this method with at the rate static method decorator to inform python to use this method as a static method we would use at the rate static method decorator this type of method takes neither a self nor a cls parameter but it can accept user defined parameters you can notice we did not specify any self or cls parameter because this method access directly through the class if you just closely take a look at this sentence then you can notice i call this methods using an instance of this class now what if i try to access this method using a class itself for example instead of calling this method using an instance let me just call this method using the class name so here i'm going to say my class and i'm going to specify my class to the class method as well now once i done that when i execute this program i'm going to get an error message because i did not specify this argument to this method when i call this method using an instance this will automatically fill this self parameter you don't have to specify that because you call this method using an instance of this object but at this time i'm going to call this method using the class name of having the class instance i'm going to have the class name here so we need to pass this class instance as an argument to this method so here i'm going to simply pass this static method just like this now i'm going to pass this static method here as well this will execute this first statement but python will return an error message when you execute this class method with this static object you can notice we have the access to the instance of the class using this method but if you try to do the same with class method you would get an error message because the class method don't have access to the instance of the class you can notice here we don't have the access to the instance we specify the cls parameter here instead of self and we specify this method as a class method as i said earlier the class method point to the class itself it's not going to point to the instance so when you try to execute this statement you're going to get an error message let me just remove this static argument right from here and execute this program when i execute this program you can notice i'm going to have the result what i want calling this class method shows us it doesn't have access to the my class instance object but you can access this class using class itself now if you want you can change this parameter name and specify your own name that doesn't matter this parameter is just used for position it just refers to the class itself now let's talk about this static method static methods can neither access to the object instance nor to the class object they work like regular functions like a simple user defined function but this method belongs to the class now the question comes in if you don't have the self parameter how you can access the class instance let me show you a very simple example here i'm going to create a simple name class attribute so here i'm going to say name is equal to new what i want i want to access this name class attribute you can notice i don't have this self and this cls parameter here so how do i access this class attribute to access this class attribute i can simply call here my class the name of the class and then specify dot name just like this when i specify the class name i can access the class attribute and class instance easily i can do the same with this class method as well using this parameter you can access the class attribute here i'm going to specify dot name this parameter refers to the class itself instead of the class instance so using this class you can access this class attribute so when you execute your file you can notice you're going to have the result something like this now practice with this code to understand how class method and static method work in python till then i will see you in the next one